Hello, and welcome to my first conversion video. The plan is to build two greater possessed of these old chosen. Step number one is to remove any guns at all. So this backpack is just a nice easy switch. Uh, the arms will chop off later, and the guy's holstered bolt rifle we're just going to basically just rip off and trim and neaten up after. After removing the rifle, gave it just a bit of a file to neaten it up a little bit before moving on. And here we have the gribbly bits. So decided to go with a chaos spawn sprue because as you can see, it is chock full of gribbly goodies. After some initial visualization, I like to actually put some bits up to the model and just make sure everything is gonna fit and is to a proper or acceptable scale. Same thing with this guy. Um, I actually decided to switch this hand out because it is a massive hand. A little too big for this fella. For this guy's right arm, I wanted to mirror the official model a little. Uh, so I'm gonna pull in an extra Tyranid spike just to um, give him a nice claw hand. Now that we've done a test fit and everything seems to scale, it's time to get chopping. Of course, when using a sharp knife, do your best to cut away from yourself as well. Just while this is going here, if there is anything I gloss over too quickly or maybe even skip entirely, please let me know in the comments and it's something I can change up for videos in the future. All right, so post clipping here, looking a little rough around the edges. I did accidentally break two horns, so one will fix, one will leave. Don't think the second one's that big of a deal. Alrighty, so that massive hand from the beginning, I decided to switch it here. Went with a spiky kind of vestigial hand instead. Before actually gluing them together, I just laid everything out one last time, just to triple check that everything does look to right, the right kind of scale and nothing's too big or too small at all. Here they are glued together. Uh, this one, the, the feet were a bit of a struggle to glue, so he's got a slightly kind of funny posture to him. So I'm gonna add a little something afterwards to try and make him just a little more intimidating. The second one here was a bit of a struggle getting the big hooves to fit on his Space Marine legs, but uh, pretty stoked how it turned out in the end. Plus, I'm a big fan of his crab claw. All right, so these are the last additions. Um, redoing this guy's horn since I broke it. Just gonna do a little bit of a simple pin here, so be very careful with the drill, especially with the actual horn, because it is very, very tiny. Also, uh, don't mind my ghetto little drill. It's a uh, Amazon special. <laughs> And as you can see, the guy underneath to the left, just to make him a little more imposing and kind of try and cover up his stance a little bit, gonna give him those gross little skeletal wings as well. All right, so when you're drilling these tiny bits, you wanna be really careful, because if you do pop up the side or go too far, you can like ruin the piece entirely, which can be annoying when it's the only one you have. To prevent that, I like to do just like a bit of a, a cursory start. I go in just a little bit, make sure that it is going in straight, and just be slow and steady, essentially. Just in case you've never pinned anything before, this is a quick example. To do this, you will need some metal wire from honestly any old craft store should do. Uh, so you want to glue the wire and insert it onto the piece you want to put on the model. And then same idea here, just put more super glue onto the reverse side of the pin and insert it onto your said model. The reason why you want to do this is it just is a much stronger bond than just the glue to glue, provides an anchor for it essentially, so it'll be a little more resilient to wear and tear. Mm -hmm. 
Same idea here. Uh, once again, had to be very careful actually drilling into the wings because they are very, very small. So just be careful with that. Um, give them a nice anchor and this way they won't rip off easily. Pretty happy with how this turned out. I think it uh, kind of enhanced his look and made him look a little more intimidating. The next step is gap filling. So honestly, these ones mostly just have gaps on their feet because everything else is a pretty straight and flat join. And to do so, we'll be using Millipod. You can use green stuff if you want as well, but this is cheap and serves its purpose well. Get two equal parts of the potty and give it a good mix for a couple of minutes. Honestly, maybe not even that, but till it's nice and evenly mixed. I am far from an expert with sculpting putty. Uh, so if any tips at all, uh, feel free to let me know as well. If you never used it before though too, I would definitely recommend buying some sculpting tools just from your local hobby store. Uh, just because if you use your hands, then you end up with fingerprints on everything and just doesn't look nearly as good. Having some water on hand is also quite important. It keeps the tool from sticking to the putty too much. I honestly wouldn't spend too much time on this. Uh, basically just gotta fill in the gaps, make sure it looks natural so it does not need to be neat, seemly, and perfect. If there are any little bits you're not happy with, you can always sand it down afterwards if you like. And that is basically a wrap. So these, if you're unaware, are actually for a giveaway through my Instagram account, which is just primed is the name. Um, so I decided not to glue them to the base or really do any basing for them at all, just because I want whoever gets them to be able to put their own spin on it and paint them how they want them to be as well. If you are interested in winning them, um, give the old Instagram account a follow, and if there isn't already, there will be information up there shortly. As I said before, if I missed anything, or you want to see something up closer, let me know below. I hope you've enjoyed this first video, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.